not fondue. Cheesy, luscious, creamy smooth. It's like a spa day for the taste buds. Now, before I make it, I need a fondue pot. So I'll just head over to the store and... You know, that price wouldn't be so bad if we could do other things, like walk the dog, file my taxes, or conduct wonderful music with a 50-piece orchestra. But I can't. <sighs> What's the fella to do? The slow cooker, you idiot! Yeah, that's right. We're going to be making fondue in a slow cooker. Because let's be honest, you're only going to use that fondue pot five or six times a year. And frankly, those XD bugs can be used for something much more useful. Like tickets to my one-man stand-up show, Jay's Cutting Comedy. Jay's Cutting Comedy. Coming to the El Tegundo Improv this Friday. With an additional show Saturday. If I survive the verbal abuse from hecklers, that is. With my shameless self-promotion out of the way, let's get to cooking. Now, fondue is not a fondue without a mouse's favorite ingredient. Except they're lactose intolerant, so they can't have it. Cheese. Shred half a pound of Swiss. And half a pound of Gruyere. Now, can a fondue be made entirely in a slow cooker? Yes, but it can take over an hour. They're not called slow cookers for nothing. Now, add one cup of white wine. Then add two tablespoons of flour. Whisk it all together. Hello, it's the big head of CRJ letting you know there's been a change of plans. We're actually going to be cooking the fondue in a regular pot. You see, I took the ceramic part out, placed it on the stove, heating up, it made a pinging noise, and I was afraid that the bowl could crack, and I don't have money to get it replaced. So I just decided to play it safe and just use a bowl and transfer it when I'm done. Now, if life is done throwing me monkey wrenches, Heat this on medium heat until it reaches a simmer. Okay, instead of reaching a simmer, wait until it, the flour wine mixture thickens up like this. And let's start adding the cheese a little bit at a time. We gotta go slowly. We don't want to get a messy cheese glob. Okay, once we got the cheese all melted and it's nice and smooth, add in a tiny, tiny pinch of salt and a quarter teaspoon of grated nutmeg. Take it and transfer it to our slow cooker. And Get it out of there with a rubber spatula. Set it to keep warm. Even though things didn't go qu quite easily as I expected them to, I still think I've outdone myself. Might even open up a fondue chain restaurant. It's a restaurant where the food will be melting in a pot. I think I'll call it CRJ's House of Fondue Arama Fantasticness. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. <laughs>